let's begin with a, a little bit of an introduction to the wheel itself. Wheels can be uh, in many different styles. Wheels can be electric, they can be non-electric. My uh, previous video series, I used a motorized kick wheel. Um, here you can see there's a small little tabletop wheel. Um, most people have uh, floor wheels that are a little bit bigger and they can um, be uh, used at the height of the legs or in the case of mine I actually have uh, some little lifts to lift my wheel up a little bit higher um, that way as I sit at it um, I'm not bending over quite as far or in the case of the wheel that I'm going to be demonstrating on this is my really beautiful scut wheel this wheel has leg extensions, so you can see it has long leg extensions there and it is going to be at the level of my waist. Now all of these wheels do have a power switch that will indicate when the power is on and they're going to be operated by a foot pedal in most cases. Now in the case of mine, since I'm going to be standing, uh, I will be operating the foot pedal with my right foot. Um, that's you can you can put it on either side really whichever one you want uh, this little old um, this is a great little artista wheel uh, it's uh, several years old and it just has a dial control I don't even have a foot pedal on that one uh, but I know that they make them with um, I have some other videos uh, at school I have some tabletop shimpo wheels I have some Brents uh, that I throw on from time to time that I show but again I'm going to be using the scut wheel now you will notice that on uh, all of these wheel heads they have these little bat pins now the purpose of a bat pin is to hold a bat in place. The bat is the thing on which I'm going to be throwing and then it makes for easy removal. You do not have to throw with bats, but if you have bat pins, you would want to throw with a bat or remove the bat pins. Usually the bat pins are just removed by, um, uh, usually I have had a wing nut on the back. This one feels like it's uh, got a little bit more of a se secure connection than a wing nut. Um, if you are throwing on a wheel head that has bat pins, but yet you neglect to use a bat and you're just throwing right on it, it's actually kind of um, uh, tricky because you could like catch your pinky or something as you're throwing and it can it can really hurt. So I recommend throwing on a bat if you have the pins. Um, some people like to throw without pins, just directly on the wheel head, which is great. Some people will throw with maybe uh, bats that are made of tar paper or canvas, or in many cases, bats that are plaster. Let me go over here. So these are some round plaster bats made of pottery plaster, and those uh, can be uh, put on as well. That can be placed on with a slurry of clay or perhaps um, even uh, a wheel head that is designed to hold the bats in place. It's also worth noting that most uh, wheels do have some sort of a splash pan, which is removable for washing when you are done. Uh, even this little Artista has a real small little splash pan on it. Now, this Scut does have a splash pan, but you don't remove it. Um, I chose this style. Um, this is the uh, Scut uh, Classic Wheel. I chose this because I usually don't make that much of a mess in a splash pan, and I thought would be it would be far easier cleanup for me just to take the towel around. Uh, this does have a removable wheel head. It pops off really easily. I'll show you that um, a little bit later when I go to clean up. Okay. In preparation for throwing, there are certain things that you would want to have close at hand. Now, for my students, they have little tool bins at school, and they always have uh, these four items or something similar to it in their tool bins. First of all, they're going to have some sort of a rib. Uh, that will make it nice if they want to get slip off their clay, that sort of thing. Uh, next, they, they will also have one of the Kemper wooden knives that we use uh, very frequently. Um, we'll use uh, one end for maybe scraping things off of the bat, uh, maybe cutting the bottom of it, um, and even maybe sometimes using the rounded end. 
Another tool will be a needle tool. My needle tool looks a little bit different from my students' needle tools. The ones that we use at school are uh, Kemper wooden handle needle tools because if they drop theirs in their water bucket, it will float. Um, this is the style that I happen to use at home. And then the last tool that uh, all the tool bins will have will be the Kemper double-ended trim tool. This is used when the clay is in the leather hard stage. Um, I don't have my kids use it when it's plastic. Also in close proximity to each wheel um, will be a cutoff wire. For my students, they hang on the little hooks that are near, near the wheels. And also the last thing that is uh, going to be in the tool bins, but the beginners don't really use this. This is more for my advanced kids. It's going to be a piece of chamois which is uh, just a soft piece of leather when it's wet. Uh, before it's wet, it's kind of, let me show you one. This is like kind of hard and stiff, but as soon as you wet it, it kind of goes, I refer to it as flibbly, and uh, it's soft. Now for my students, uh, you will notice that in the tool bins, I have a plastic fishing bobber that um, I have, um, put through a hole in this. That way, again, if it ends up in the slip bucket, it will always float. You have to make sure that you know where these are at all times because you don't want to get that into your scrap clay for recycling. Now, beyond the tools, you're also going to need to have a bat to throw on because again, my students, we have uh, wheels with bat pins just like my wheel here at home. Bats can be made of many different things. So like this is a wooden bat. Um, it has bat pin holes that are drilled of the appropriate size to match the bat pins. Um, here is a, here's another style of wooden bat. I love these. I've done a video on uh, these before, the unboxing. These came from uh, Batman in, um, in Canada and uh, he, he makes some beautiful inserts out of, I'm not too sure what the pressed board is, but it's really, they're beautiful and they um, have withstood um, a lot of use. Um, I also will recommend, but I haven't used them personally, I would like to try them out, are the Dirty Girl Bats. I know that's funny, but that's the, the brand name because you know they make clay tools. Um, and it's similar to this where they have uh, removable inserts. The nice thing about this is you have a stack of small inserts. So if I wanted to make say, you know, 20 cups or something, if I have 20 inserts, I can just uh, put them on my shelves and it takes up a lot less room than a large bat would. Okay. Um, and there are these bats. Um, I think these, yeah, these are creative industries bats. They are, uh, um, supported they they have the 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 structure on one side and the flat side is the side you throw on and then these are what we have most of in my classroom these are the plasti bats um i'm not too sure if those are amico i forget who makes these but the plasti bats come in various sizes so these are the small ones. I have some that are uh, a couple inches bigger. And then these are the big, big, I refer to these as the platter bats. The only time we ever use these big giant ones are for, for throwing platters. Now, the one thing that I will mention, um, if you are ever throwing on an enormous bat like this, for my students, you will need to take off the splash pans of either the Pacifica wheels or the Brent wheels um, because this will not fit on with the splash pan. The, uh, the wheel head also of my scut wheel, you can see it's not fitting because it sits above it. This ha actually has an extension. I had mentioned earlier that this is uh, easily removable. So this one comes off, it's got a little notch and um, uh, it's for easy cleaning, but it's also great. <laughs> It's also great for the uh, using the extension to make the wheel higher so you can use the, the platter bat. Okay, so now that we've discussed the things that you need at hand, you also need a water bucket or bowl. Um, a bucket is what my kids use because they use more water than, than me. I don't use that much water, so I'm just using a, a smaller uh, bowl. You will need 
a sponge of some sort, usually to help apply your water. And then for my students, I always tell them to have one of the towels at hand. In my classroom, I have orange microfiber towels. They're just those nice big packs. You know, I bought some at Costco or Sam's uh, years ago, and they've lasted a very long time. And these are fantastic for cleanup. After you use a sponge, you often get a lot of residue, but if you go back over it with a, a rinsed out microfiber, it can clean everything up in a jiffy. The last thing that I show my students um, that they can use is this thing. It doesn't look like much right now. This is called a bat mate. This is, I'm just going to refer to it as a synthetic chamois. I don't really know what it is, but it feels like a chamois, but I know, I know it's not a chamois. Um, it used to have, oh, here it is. This is a bat mate. If you can possibly read that. Bat mates are made by the, the company. It's X. IEM, which I'm not sure it might be pronounced SIM perhaps, uh, but this uh, company makes some really outstanding uh, quality tools. And this Batmate is such a great simple gizmo. When you put your Batmate uh, or your bat, I should say, when you put the bat right on the wheel head, if your bat is older, like if your holes have um, elongated and stretched out a little bit, like many of mine in the classroom have because they're over 20 years old, um, they might shimmy, but the, the bat mate underneath it keeps that bat from having any sort of shimmy or um, movement on it uh, when you're throwing. So my students, you don't have to use it, but I recommend it. That's why I, I have them in the classroom. All right, now it looks like I am ready to throw. I just need to grab my clay. Check here for a link for the next video, which is going to be part two on wheel throwing, which is centering clay. I will be linking all the information in the video description for the various videos as I get them published and finished.